John just got our new Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus in the mail. And it looks like it's a pretty small box, but I think there's some exciting things packed in this box, right John? Yeah. Tell us, oh, we need to open it, don't we? Okay. What do you think is going to be in there? I don't know, maybe a box of the disc? We're supposed to get an additional piece of software with it because uh, it was like an upgrade deal and a reduced price and it came with some kind of photo manager with it. Don't I know. think it's on the same disc though. You think it's on the same disc or do you think maybe we got a coupon? I don't think it's either what, I don't think it's the first one, I think it's the disc. All right. There it is! Yeah, let, let's bring it up closer where they can see it. It is kind of dark in here. Yeah, well, uh, let's have the lights. Yeah. They already had the camera, so why not have some lights too? Should have had the lights first, right? <laughs> yeah. No wonder it was so dark and I couldn't see anything. Oh, well, All right, I see another thing i got to cut open. Let's take a look at this, though. Oh, just Showing Velcroed. The... Just like RC, you held on everything with Velcro. It's got a lot of features <laughs> here. Yeah, what's it got? It's got, full. well, of course, Full HD, because it's... Full HD. Because it's Movie Editor Pro 2013 Plus. And what else has it got? Looks like it's an anniversary special. 20 years oh, of Magic. Oh, 20th anniversary special for Magic. Yay! And uh, tra movie trailer templates, that's kind of new. Hey, that is. And then we have accelerated ABHC for like our cameras that we are using. So that means it will play back quicker? Yeah, it will. Oh, that's good. And it automatic, a part of that is automatic graphics card recognition, which is for AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. Yeah, and I think we got NVIDIA, so that will sure help there. Yeah. What's this down here with the two pictures? Well, that right there, that would be the multicam editing for two cameras. Now, the version we were currently using already has that, but what's different about it this time is now with automatic video track synchronization. Oh, let me just show that to them. It's right there. That right there. Automatic track synchronization with two video tracks. That ought to be good. Yeah. And, uh, dubbing and sound restoration. I think it had some of that in the older versions, but maybe they improved it. So if you had a record or a CD or something that was kind of noisy, that would clean it up? Oh, well, try to anyway. <laughs> Make it sound better? Yeah. So I guess the next step is, oh, well, it's got a lot of new stuff on this yeah. uh, timeline here. Oh, and also it now supports Blu-ray. So. Oh, Blu-ray. It might have been on the other one, too, but I don't remember. I don't remember it having it. I like the way they've got the audio and video combined there mm -hmm. on one track. Now, yeah. It still does all the other things the other one did, like, you know, being able to splice yeah. sections of oh, video together. by the way, about the chroma key, it says something about oh, that. Oh, yeah, our too. beloved chroma key. Yeah, we you gotta have a chroma key. The chroma key is completely redesigned and has and has uh, blue box screen block screens like it usually has. It just says that. But yeah, you know that's what we yeah. use to do the green screening, where you know, like the weatherman standing in front of the weather map, he's yeah. really on a green screen, and this is what allows it to happen. Yeah. So that that's a great feature. I'm glad they enhanced that. Yeah. So what do you think about loading it up? Yeah, let's load it up. In fact, we'll edit this video with it when we're done. How hey, about that? I'm with you on that one. Okay, so let's load it up here. I'm going to put the CD into the drive. There's the splash screen. Now, we got our splash screen. What do we do first? Install the program, right? Yep. And this has also got the bonus software. 
Oh, there's the photo manager. You were right, John. It is included on the CD. Right there. Okay, but just load the uh, first one first. Okay. Preparing to install here. There it goes. All right. Please close all running programs. I don't think I have anything running. So I'm going to hit next. Have to accept the license, of course. Next. Custom. Install settings individually. I think we'll just go with the standard. What do you think, John? Yeah, I think the standard ought to be fine enough. Yeah, we'll just try that. Okay, next. Install Simple Check. Or Simply Check. Simply Check is a small intelligent system tool that checks your computer for optimal performance and stability. I don't think I'm going to check that. I'm going to yeah, uncheck that. Uncheck it, yeah. Less stuff running on my computer, the better. All right, next. Install Magic's Ass Toolbar. No, I don't think I want a toolbar on my browser. All right, well, we're going to go next. You're now ready to install Magic's Pro. Let's see. Press the Install button. It what says I'm out of disk space. Well, Volume C required space. Looks like uh, six megabytes, perhaps. I don't know. Or six gigabytes, maybe. Is that six gigabytes? Because it looks like six million KB. It's about six six giga. Let's check and see what I got on C. Only three gig. Well, it didn't give me a chance to install it anywhere else. I could have put it on E or even Z. But I did not have room on C. Hit cancel. Is it hit cancel? Yeah. How do we do it in another drive? Open it back up. There's got to be a setting in there somewhere to change the drive it installs on. All right. Maybe a little maybe setting gear or something. I don't know. All right. We'll go back on there. Maybe double click on autoplay by default. Oh. Let's do that then. And hit the install for it then. Alright. Should be in there somewhere. You probably just overlooked it. Alright, let's try it again. Accept. Stand oh, look, custom install might be the way. That there. might be where it's at. Custom. Yeah, we'll go to custom install because it did not find enough space on my C drive. So we're trying to find a drive that has more space. Hey, take off introductory videos. You don't need that. Alright, how do I get that off? Like that. that. Let's move on. Oh, here we go. All right, let's change this to what did we say would work good? Why don't I just put put it on uh, my P drive? That's where all my movie stuff's at anyway. Yeah, that did it. That did it. It's just going to have to all go on P. Yeah. We'll leave the desktop shortcut on. Install simple. Oh, I didn't want that. And I didn't want that. That you got on actually, administrator, by the way. Yes, I do. It's on administrator. Okay. You could read the end user license agreement if you want to. I don't want to right now. I might have read it in the manual. Oh, it sounds like we're getting a phone call. I just wait a second. All right. Install. Shouldn't take too long. Well, here we go. Now that part might take a while, actually. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll do that on the time lapse. Yeah. Let me go get that time lapse set up then. We're still on the time lapse. Yeah, we are. Okay, now.
There you go, record. There it is. Okay, installation has completed successfully. Press finish to complete the installation. Start Magix Movie Edit Pro 13 Plus now. Okay, let's just do that and see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. And I uh, stopped the cameras while we're doing this part. Oh, you can leave it there. No. We'll just cut it out afterward. Well, we're done with the time lapse, aren't we? I can turn that off. This is where we register it, I guess. And it says register immediately online. Let's see what happens. Was successful. All right, so we're registered. Probably mine was easier since I'd registered the old version before. And we got a little splash screen here. Let's uh, we'll just say okay, create a new project. Okay. Let's type one in for this one. Unboxing of magics. All right, let's say unboxing of Magic's Movie Edit Pro let's do that 2013 plus like that uh, that's good creating a new project we'll just say OK OK there's our timeline popping up it's got tab, it's got tab timelines let me minimize. Look at this. It's got tab timelines for hey, each video. For tab each, for each movie. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty nifty. See, this adds your new movie to it. I'll just look, do this it. is different. There's, there's no uh, there's no object view. Just edit, burn, and then export. Hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Pretty nice. Okay, so uh, why don't we take the uh, timeline, I mean the uh, time lapse, and put it in here and see what it looks like. Yeah, actually, do you have a card reader on there that supports 64 gigs? Sure do. Okay, so let's put a file on the timeline. Now, this is an MTS video file of the time-lapse video we just took. Which one would you like to do, John? Top? Let's drag them both in. Drag them both in? All right, I'll do them one at a time just for looks here. Hmm. You need to switch to that right there. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I need to go to this one. This one right here, right? There yeah. we go. That's what I'm used to. So you can see the different tracks. Okay, now I'll bring one down here. There it is. Let's drop it on there. Now, it's going to give us a choice. In order to use this function on the timeline, activation is required. Would you like to activate now? and I'll just say online please wait successfully activated okay now it's loading and there it is see where the audio comes in okay the audio should be in this section right but it's time lapse there isn't going to be any audio waveform display create waveform let's create a waveform just to see what it looks like you turned the volume down on that, though, didn't you? I don't know, did you, I? You dragged this little thing down. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, it's just empty. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, the time lapse has no audio. Dope. Yeah. All right, let's bring the other one in. It also has no audio. Bring that one. That's another part of the time lapse. All right. 
let's just play it and see what it looks like there it goes oh that's funny look at this going all we're really moving fast yeah and that's where it's loading see it loading the files there it's really fast when you do it this way now if I hit this double bar, let me stop this a minute just so people can see this. If I hit this double bar down here at the bottom, which is right there, if I click that double arrow, it, break, it squishes all the video to fit the timeline so you can see it. So here's the two videos. There's one and there's the other. So if I set the uh, marker right here, then I can hit this little plus button down here in the bottom right zoom in on that marker and then I can take one video and drag it a little bit over the other and that creates a transition right there with one will fade into the other I'll play that for you and you see well it went by it really quick but that's what it does you got only one frame like now, that now if I hit the double arrow again I can do a bigger one hit the double arrow fit it to timeline now let's see what it looks like I'll start over here should see it fade see see how that faded in so very simple to use now how do you think we view if we had an audio track why don't we put something on there that has an audio track I'll tell you what we can do we'll just go to uh, I'll grab one off my drive I know. Here. this one Intro, yeah. Adjust, I'll say don't adjust. What do you think? You don't adjust, yeah. There it is. Now we just got Magic's Movie at Pro loaded. And here's the CD we used to load it. And it all worked out pretty good, as you could see from the video. And so we'll see you on the tube. Yeah, we'll see you on the tube.